Hello everyone, it's Lizzy. So of course I'm actually back home right now and my quarantine is actually over but I just found out like I forgot to film an intro for this so here I am doing the intro for you guys. So just give you guys a basic idea. So I'm about to show you guys my hotel quarantine meal. So basically if you are about to quarantine in Shanghai, um, you cannot actually choose your hotel like you are arranged your hotel and uh, once you get there you will know all the policies it will let you guys know and uh, if you are lucky you are able to order takeout but most of us do not have that kind of luck so yeah we cannot order takeout and some of us may be a little bit luckier like they can actually order fresh food but i did not have that kind of luck like my hotel has a really strict like delivery policy uh like online shopping policy so basically we cannot order fresh food we can only order things online that are like has an expiration date longer than 30 days and we cannot order frozen food so basically there's not much things we can actually order so if you want to actually eat warm food you have to go with a hotel meal service so that's the basic rules and of course if you go to different hotels every hotel has their own rules and the restrictions this video is just going to show you guys a basic idea about what kind of food they offer because of course each hotel has different kind of cafeteria and everything and they also have different meal setup this is just my hotel and i'm going to show you guys my meal right now here these are the food got here so these are the food let me put it on my desk so now we got banana and i'm glad they had this so that it can still be warm let me open it okay so these are the food for dinner and also with one banana oh my god these are all carbs like i don't eat rice i'm sorry but i normally do not eat rice and the, i don't eat this kind of meat and the, i don't know what is this i think i will only have some spinach for today anyway i don't know if i can like like re, like do not do this like meal service because it is like 80 rmb per day for three meals i don't know like it is a compulsory thing or not i don't know i will check with the hotel because this is definitely not what i like to eat so this is my setup right here and i'm going to watch a video so yeah so of course it's the first day let's just be adventurous even though i really do not want to eat like the boxes like at the top but let's just try let's try the spinach first honestly it's a little bit bland but it's okay the spinach is healthy and honestly it's a little bit oily like this is not, definitely not the way i like to cook my spinach but okay let's just try this i think this is pork i think but i really do not like to eat, to eat pork like i normally like pork is not definitely in my diet okay it works but there's just too many fat like seriously let me show you another piece This piece is thinner, but look at the fat right here, and this also is not a fat. Like this is only the portion right here that's not many fat. 
my god. It's really chewy. Like, it's kind of like cut a little bit too long. Oh my god, why does it sound so picky? I'm not trying to be like harsh on anything, but I mean, this is like the service that I pay for. And for the other box, I think this is kind of tofu. I think this is tofu, but this is definitely too many condiments. Like, the sauce is too heavy. Yeah, that's tofu. And this one, I think it's radish. Let me try to get rid of some of the sauces. I mean, that's just too much. No, it's not radish. It's potato. Why can't I even recognize this too? Like, yeah, I think what is this? I think. I think this is also pork. You. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I'm not trying to be picky, but I mean, this is like I pay for this. I mean, and I can't even. I mean, this is my choice. Like, this is if I want to get back to China, this is like the price I have to pay. So yeah, so basically that's the food. I'm going to have some more spinach. So that's basically it. So I think I will still, if I can like cancel this meal plan, I will, but I will just try for another day and I will keep you guys updated. So yeah, you have seen my meal and I'm sorry if I was being like super picky. Like I am not that kind of person. Like, I am the easiest eater. You know, like, I love to go to Michelin star restaurant. I love to go to fancy restaurant or fine dinings. I have super low standard for food as long as they are okay. Like, they don't taste terrible. I'm okay with that. But I feel like I was just being super picky with this hotel meal. Mostly it's because it's greasy, it's salty, and it's just not healthy and just too many carbs so yeah this is my problem with this hotel meal and also i'm not sure if they cater with any like dietary requirements because for breakfast they normally serve a lot of like um chinese bread or like things made of of flour so if you are um vegan or you are allergic to gluten i think you may kind of have a hard time here because in china like there's not actually a um, big thing about gluten-free stuff. So normally things here are not gluten-free. So if you are allergic to gluten or you're vegan, I think you're going to have a little bit of problem here. Forgot to tell you guys the price here. So for my hotel for three meals a day, it's like 30 RMB. So basically that is like 10 pounds. And uh, that's four dollars. I think that is like 11 or 12 dollars so basically um super cheap well if you well in, in, in uk or in us that's cheap but in china that's not cheap okay because the standard is not just there it's because for this kind of like a school lunchbox thingy like back in my uh, like middle school this was like five rmb a meal so and they're charging for us like 30 rmb a meal wow i mean they're making some money there <laughs> i'm just telling you guys this so basically that is my experience about my hotel's meal service yeah i was maybe i was being a little bit picky about this but the truth is it's just they're not good so if you are ever coming to china for quarantine definitely remember to bring some snacks with you because you never know what will happen because for the package delivery policy like even though the next day the food i ordered online was there they did not deliver it up to me because like after three o'clock like every package delivered after three o'clock they are going to bring it up to you the next day which didn't make much sense because 
like they deliver dinner at around five so they can definitely bring it up to me and also they only bring your package with you at dinner time so if you like for example if i had a um package uh, arrived at 4 p.m they are going to bring it up to me um the next day at 5 p.m dinner time and they can bring that to me at tomorrow breakfast time or lunch time or the temperature check time which is super weird to me so anyway that is just my new service experience at this hotel i mean this is just my personal experience because every hotel is just different let's just put a disclaimer first so yeah so that's about my meal experience at this hotel but I only had complaint about the meal service there because like the room is actually really decent um so yeah i think that will be the video for today i hope this can be a little bit helpful if you are uh, coming to shanghai for quarantine and i think that will be the video for today hope you guys like this video if you like the video please give the video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys really soon bye guys